2021. All right. You don't have the answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? About an hour ago. You said that would have been an hour ago? He's in your house still? No, nah, he ain't still in my house. He gone. That's why you have on a road because you just had sex an hour ago? Girl. Oh, yes. So the sex was bad? No, the sex was good. He went to the store to go get some groceries. So if the sex was good, why are you looking for his replacement so fast? <laughs> It ain't no replacement. It's just like, it's just a sexual relationship. We not in no relationship. So he's coming back to your house? Yeah, once he bring the groceries back. Are you, are you trolling me? What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foolery. My people, my people, my people, y'all got to be in. Just lock yourself in on this one. I'm still so astonished that the things I see with these women on this show, I'm probably going to be traumatized for as though if I keep doing these videos. Because I'm seeing stuff in you women that I never thought y'all was out here doing. Never. Never. And this one here takes the cake. This young lady. Well, I'm going to tell you this. It's going to start out a little normal. And then midway, it is going to go fucking explode. Because... Some of y'all are some dirty human beings. And y'all got some nasty mouths on you. I mean, this young lady here says she doesn't have a filter. You know, you ladies that say what you want to say when you feel like saying it. Don't give a crap. Yeah, she one of those. But she want a dude to come in and fly her out. All that jazz. But y'all got to see this at the, close to the end. This shit going to blow your mind. So I ain't going to give it away too much. I try not to, but, you know, I talk too much sometimes. But let's just go ahead and do the thing and hit that subscribe, like, share, and notification bell. And just to get this thing rolling, y'all just sit back and just let it roll, man. And make sure y'all comment, 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 because this is going to get stupid. Especially at the end, I'm going to ask y'all for some comments to reply on something. I need y'all to, I need your opinion on it. So no further ado, let's get it. The woman with no shame. That's what I Hello. Hello. What? I'm looking busted up. Were you busted? The request to be here. What you? I know. I'm, I'm still fine, even though I'm busted up. I'm still fine. It's okay. My hair just look a little mess. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. You ready? It's on you. You listen. Y'all called me. All I do is answer the phone. Right. That. Okay. Come on. That's fine. Okay. okay. What's your name, honey? My name is Jamie. Jamie, you gotta get situated though. And have, turn around with a fight with a lights in your face. That'll be better. Um, you turn around like with the lights in your face, like yeah, like that. I gotta teach y'all about good lighting every day. All right, your name is, is Jamie. Yes. yes. Where are you calling us from Jamie. I sleep in Danville, Illinois. Danville, Illinois. Um, how old are you? I'm twenty nine. Twenty nine. What do you do for a living? I'm a Licensed cosmetologist. I've been licensed since um, July of 2013. Oh, like cosmetologist. You have any kids? No, I don't. No kids. When's your birthday? Zodiac sign. Um, December 14th. I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right. This is Jamie Sagittarius, an Illinois 29, a cosmetologist. No kids. What kind of man you looking for, girl? To be honest. I really don't know what type of man I'm looking for besides somebody that's like um, ambitious with no kids. You know, if because me being honest, so I know one day I probably will have kids, but as of right now, I don't want any kids because I haven't came across a man that's really like, you know, kid worthy, if that makes any sense. You feel what I'm saying? So 
I'm really just open today, right now. I don't, I'm not interested in women, so I'm not just going to say that I'm open today. You get what I'm saying? But, you know. Yes. So, could the guy have kids? No. Because no. I feel like if I deal with a man that got kids, I'm not going to be able to take him serious just because I don't have kids. So, if that makes any sense. So, if you guys get serious, are you open to having kids if he wants a child? Yes, if I settle down and get serious, yeah. Okay. Okay. What's some other deal breakers besides having children? Um, a man on the down low, somebody that does drugs. I don't want nobody that. I mean, you can smoke weed, do whatever, but I don't want nobody. Uh, you know, snorting cocaine, doing none of that. Uh, not a woman beater. I don't want nobody that's just instantly trying to hop in my, my life and just be, be a user just because they don't got nothing going on. So those are the main things. Oh, and okay. I don't want a man that's, I'm sorry, I don't want a man that's shorter than me because I'm 5'9". Okay. So no man shorter than 5'9"? No man shorter than five now i'm too tall for that shit it's interesting my friend is married i finally found a wife that is willing to come on my show and i think she's gonna come on on monday and she's five eleven six two with heels and her husband's shorter than her and she said that it was never a requirement for her when she got married so just sharing doesn't say you have to change your requirement. I do understand tall women want a man they can look up to, but if she has a really happy marriage and her husband's shorter than her. Well, that's good for her. <laughs> I just Kendra, I don't know if it's my phone or if it's yours, but I can hear you, but you're not really moving. But I mean that's that's good for her. You know what I'm saying? But um, oh, look, fair enough. I was just sharing. I don't want no smoke. I, I know you don't smoke. want no smoke. I know. Oh, boy. What you mean you know? They, I know this is random, but they eating me up so bad in the comments about my hair. That's because I went out last night. I had a long night. They really trying to kiki, but that's fine because when I get dressed up and dolled up, I be good. I just press the button because I'm like, let me just press the button because I always be trying to join when I'm like glammed up and stuff, but you don't never answer once I'm glammed up. So I really don't care what they got to say in the comments anyways, because they really be on here truly looking for love. And I'm just on here to potentially find a man that might inbox me that got some money and I might be flued out. So fuck y'all. Well, see, there it is right there. That's all these young women looking at and all they want. See, this Instagram stuff, just getting fluid out, all this shit, them, them ruin you ladies. You want to find somebody who has money and that's going to come and fly you out. Now, what do you think this dude want to do when he fly you out? Huh? So you will already just give it up because he got money. But then y'all come on time. Y'all talk all this trash about dudes. But look at the behavior you guys have started doing. I don't care. I don't start getting a man as long as he got some money and he flew me out. I don't want to get flued out. Fuck that. Man, come on, ladies. That's 29. <laughs> um, okay, no, I, I guess. Fuck you, Kendra, because you know you ain't saying nothing bad. You just been nice. But they in the comments eat up my hair, girl. But it's okay. It was so cute last night. Check my Facebook, y'all. It was so cute last night, for real. Well, here's what I will say. This is what I say. This is what I say in the beginning of every time I answer the phone. Y'all call me. And before y'all call me, you That's why I you said know. I'm not mad that I that I pressed the request thing. Because I wouldn't have never answered if I felt some type of way. But I'm like, dang, they eating me up about some hair and stuff. Like, girl, gone. Y'all notice how she just cuts her off every time she starts talking? A lot of you have that habit. A lot of you have that habit. When somebody trying to explain something, you cut them off before they can even get close to telling you what they really trying to say. 
So you will interject and say your piece before they can even say what they really want to say. So how do you know what you need to say? And then you wonder why people are coming for you on this thing because this is a dating show. And you're supposed to look your best when you come on to look for someone. Why you ladies don't get it, I have no idea. You're almost 30 years old and you don't know you don't you put your best foot forward. You should have been glammed up before you clicked over on that button, not looking, yo, know, getting out of bed look. And then telling me to go to your Facebook or Instagram and look at your pictures. That's not how that works. Like, y'all need to, somebody need to talk to these girls, man. Some of your older ladies that know better, y'all really need to sit down with your nieces, your little cousins, and whatever they are to you, and really talk to them. Because nobody's talking to them and they thinking this is appropriate. This is normal behavior. Just get on something looking a hot mess and you're supposed to figure it out from there. Nah, that's why they're losing, ladies. Okay, so, okay, so you want to get off your, you got it off your chest, you want to say, the comment section is called Kendra's Cousins. So do you have anything else you want to say to Kendra's Cousins? Kendra's Cousins, no. But I'm looking at this, and um, this one lady, and I could agree with this, and she said, uh. Do we get frozen? A short, like. Wait, wait, you got frozen, you got frozen. So wait, um. Jamie, say it again. What you say? You said you I saw just, a lady that... Ever... I can't find the comment now, but this lady in the comment said that she's 5'10". I mean, she's 4'10", and by her being short, she usually wants to date a taller man, which I, I could understand that because you probably want somebody to look up to, but I'm okay with somebody being my height or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Just don't be so small. And one thing I always got a problem with is shorter men coming to me. Mm. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Listen, I'm going to respect your height requirement. You are a tall girl. Okay. So y'all can accept a man being short and y'all don't want a short man. But as soon as we say we don't want an obese or large woman, it's a problem. But it's a preference, right? There's a reason why. She said she said she don't want short men, so some men don't want big women. They don't want no thick, big bone, obese. Same stuff. But you ought to get upset about that. But actually, one is worse because a short man can't make himself grow, but an obese or overweight woman can lose weight. Let's keep going. Right. I got to make a certain amount of money. No. Okay. Long as he work, I mean, long as he work, got to hustle, something going on for himself, he he good. I just don't want no bum. I don't want nobody that's homeless. I prefer him to have his own place in the car, some type of job, some type of positive hustle. Long as he got an income and some type of ambition, we good. Okay. Does he have to live in Illinois? No, I I mean, I've had long distance relationships before because I travel a lot just because I do hair. So that's never a problem. So no, it's not mandatory that he stays in Illinois. Okay, let's do the kids or cam. I got on the rope. Okay. I would open the rope, but I don't got nothing on under here because I got you out have to shower, open the rope. So. You, don't, you don't have to be I'm naked. I'm not going to open the rope because it ain't nothing under here. So I ain't... They gotta pay to see what's under the road. Oh, you 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 charge for that? Not saying I charge for that like I'm a prostitute, Kendra. But I, listen, you I am responding to the shit that's coming out of my mouth. You said we no, got to pay for I it. I need to clear it so I can see how you kind of. So a lot of women, they they come on these these shows and they'll say what they want in a man. It's like effective communication, and time after time after time. Kendra can't even get you to communicate with her properly. So how is a guy supposed to, you ramble and you say things, we don't, you know, we got to sit here and try to filter through this stuff. And there's, I don't know, it's something, it's coming on here with the robe on, like you just was not ready to come on here, but you came anyway. You don't have clothes on. Why you don't have clothes on? Why are you on here with no clothes on, your hair not done? 
you look and stink, to be honest. You're like you might have a little older because you don't look kept. That's just my opinion on it. Not trying to whatever, but you shouldn't come on looking like that. But either way, you don't come on here looking like this lady. Let's just do that. Just don't come on here looking like that. Don't that, but I don't uh, think, think you're a prostitute. I'm just asking what you said. You were being, so basically you was joking. You said they gotta pay for it. It was Listen, a joke. My it shows, a, you have, hold on real quick. <laughs> if you don't know, I have girls on my show that would mean that. Say it and mean it and live by it. So I yes, have to get clear for every individual guest because some women say yes, you got to pay for, it, and that's what it is. So if that's not true, that's cool. But I need clarity, honey. Yeah, it was a joke. But okay, if he got some money, oh man. She just said she was joking. She didn't mean that. And then turned right around and said, if he got the money, then I don't mind. What the? F <laughs> That's the exactly what Kendra was saying. You hired for play. What is that what they call it? Pay to play? That's what you are. You talking about getting flued out and all this? Let's just be real, lady. That's probably why you're making your money. All this about doing hair. And I don't know why you're saying that because your hair is jacked up. I can see that around there. We, you know, we saw that earlier. If you did hair, I don't think you'd be on there with all that not done around the edges and shit. You can't have cheap hair and you do hair. Uh, or maybe y'all do. I don't know. All right. Oh, oh, oh. You mentioned that a couple of times. So you say you don't care how much the money man, how much the man makes, but I think you do care how much the man makes. I okay. I'm not putting an exact number on how much the man has to make. I'm just saying that the man has to have some money, if that makes any sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And money to support you. As long as he's able to support himself, I'm good with that because I don't date men just to see if they're able to support me or not. If it just come and it be like, okay, whatever, he offers some stuff, I ain't denying no money, but I'm definitely not just dating nobody looking for money because I did that before and the relationship never goes right, so... The way you want to. Okay, fair enough. All right, so this is Jamie Sagittarius, lives in Illinois, 29. What's the age range you would date? Um, I'm going to say from 25 to 40. 25 to 40. Um, does he, I know you want to be a certain height, but does he have to look a certain way in addition to being a certain height? I'm not trying to be mean. I don't prefer like a heavy set man. So long as he, I, long as he not sloppy with it. Long as he's always put together, if that makes any sense. So no looks don't have to do nothing with it. But long as he's always like physically together, like well groomed and stuff, I'm okay with that. So okay, she's okay with that. All right. So what was your last relationship, Jamie? My last relationship ended March of 2021. All right. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? About an hour ago. No! Yeah, right. Girl, that's why I got on this road. You said me an hour ago he's in your house still no he ain't still in my house he gone oh, oh okay guys okay guys i'm gonna let it run i'm gonna let it run i just i just need to say this i just need to say this you nasty mother are you kidding me you really can't make this shit up god That's why you have on a roll because you just had sex an hour ago? Girl. Oh, yes. So the sex was bad? No, the sex was good. He went to the store to go get some groceries. So if the sex was good, why are you looking for his replacement so fast? 
It ain't no replacement. It's just like, it's just a sexual relationship. We not in a relationship. So he's coming back to your house? Yeah, once he bring the groceries back. Are you are you trolling me or are you being serious? No, I'm being dead serious. I'm an honest person. You asked that question right off the, like, it was unexpected. So I just have to be honest. I think this is a good time for you to tell a good lie. I think you should have told the biggest lie in the world just now. Ladies, why do you all think a man wants to pursue you knowing that you got a sneaky link on call? Why? Why do you think a dude wants to pursue you knowing you just got it on call next door? I mean, whatever. And y'all think like it's a normal behavior for you. Like she doesn't think nothing's wrong with this. You literally just got out of the bed with a dude an hour ago. And you on a singles dating show an hour after laying up with this dude looking for a new man. What the freak is going on, man? Y'all, there's some of the nastiest mofos walking this street. Damn. Is that why your hair's messed up? My hair's messed up because it was messed up from last night because I just don't be caring about my hair when I go to sleep because I know how to fix it. Okay, so let me ask you this. So the guy that you sleep with, slept with, are you going to continue to sleep with him until you get into another relationship? Like... I the guy you meet on my like show. I feel like we be working on the relationship, but he be playing games sometimes, but the sex is good. So I'm not finna just be sitting up, oh, waiting to see what this man got to do. But if I feel like having sex with him and if he want to come over and agree to it, that's fine. Start what you're doing. Comment right now. Do y'all think this okay behavior? I just want to know what you ladies think because I've seen this several times on this show. Shania, where are you calling us from? Columbus, Ohio. 30 years old. Do you have any children? I have two. Okay, how old are your kids? 13, three. Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? I'll be totally honest and transparent. So my youngest daughter is a one-night stand baby. When was the last time you was intimate with a guy? You don't have to answer. Okay. Uh, I said I was going to be honest when, I, <laughs> when you asked this question. Um, today... We saw a guy, who's that in the background? I, I told you who it was. That's the guy you had sex with today? Wow. <laughs> then of course we had the woman who had sex with a guy the night before and then he came to her, her place while she was on live with me. I've seen these women come on here with their man in the background, men going to, most of them going to the store and they just finished laying up. South Carolina, how old are you? I'm 29. 20, you're 29? Yes. Why you say that like it's a surprise? You surprised? I look it older. is a surprise. I look older? Yes. You don't got an answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Last night. Last night? Is this guy an option? No. Then what's going on with him? He don't want a relationship. He not ready for a relationship. Do you want one? Yes. Then why are you still sleeping with him? Because it's good. Hold on, one moment. Yeah. What happened? Uh, so I had to open the door. Uh, for who? For my friend. Your friend who? Who's in the room? <laughs> it's Kendra. Who's that? That's my friend. The one you was just telling me about? Yeah. So the one you slept with last night? Yeah. You gonna sleep with him again tonight? I don't know. Depends on how it go. So let me know, is this the, the proper or normal behavior you women are doing out here right now? Like I say, she's almost 30. So, y'all let me know. I don't know. Because it seems like it's a normal behavior. Like, like they fine with basically just being a hoe. And then you want somebody to come in and be with you. So why would I be with you when I know 
if I'm not around, you can just call old, old ding a ling over there to come swinging through and take and just, just tap it up a little bit and you good to go. She. Y'all out y'all damn mind. And y'all say it's the guys? The guys? Shh, look at this shit. Y'all hit no comment. I want to know, man. I really want to know. Y'all let me know. Dudes, let me know. Do y'all know anybody that do this kind of stuff? Or you know a girl that do this because you the dude. Let me know. Oh, 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 okay. I'm so, Jamie, why do you be honest? Listen, it's fine. It is fine. I mean, I think a guy watching might, well, it depends. It's two ways. There's a guy watching who's going to definitely hit you up because they're going to feel like potentially, you know, you give it up and you don't know no strings attached. So a lot of men do like I know how to control myself. So if they hit me up just thinking that I pretty much know how to read between the lines. This is why the man just left my house and he come back with the groceries because we got a pretty good relationship, but it's not to the point that we... Ugh, ready to settle down with each other because i don't really think he's 100 percent ready to settle down and i don't want to force him to do nothing okay uh, okay so why do you think you're single jamie because you see how me and your conversation going and i'm so like straightforward and honest this is why I'm single, because men that I date, they always say that my mouth is reckless. They say I don't have no filter. Um, when I don't get my way, they always say that it's like a little evil strike that comes along or whatever, but I'm really a good person, if that makes any sense. So Okay, so let's just stop right there. Right there. Don't go no further. Everything you just said, we don't like. All that we don't like. I don't give a crap how good a person you are. I don't care if you can cook, clean, hell, paint, cut grass. I don't care. But if you can't control that mouth, no, I'm telling you. All you got to do is disrespect him one time. One time, he ain't going to look at you the same. He ain't. Now, if you're a real type dude, now you get them simps out there sitting, going in the corner and cry and feel bad and sit in the damn dark but not no legit dude ain't you be lucky if he stick around long enough to even tell you that you're like oh okay all right and then you wonder why he ain't called he ain't come back through don't nobody want to sit around here that shit then you talk you control yourself when you just sit here and say it you have no control when a woman say i have no filter or this other mess what is it i don't i don't bite my tongue for no one all i got to hear that is one time I don't care if it's with a cousin, a friend, or what. I ain't had no conversation for you. Because I know I'm going to have to cuss your ass out one of these days. We don't like it, ladies. Period. Once I feel like I give somebody love and, like, care about them, that's when I, yeah, that's when it just don't work out. Because I just don't take anything from anybody. Okay. okay. So why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I mean, I'm honest. I'm caring. I'm very uh, supportive. So I'm not going to be giving no man no motivational speak speeches every day, but I am supportive and I'm understanding because I understand like people go through stuff. The Lord probably put a man in my life that, okay, he put him in my life so we could get through things together. So I feel like a man should be lucky to be with me because I'm honest. You're honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, they want me to ask you this question because you did share you had sex an hour ago. They want to know, did you take a shower before you caught it? Yes, that's why I said, that's why I got the robo. And what's so funny is because so many of my clients on here, because we always watch on show where I stay at, so they just got me cracking up. But I know they're going to eat me up when they get their hair. And you know damn well you didn't get in the shower. You are ashy dry right now. I mean dry, ashy, freaking dry. Hair dry, you didn't know. You don't even look like you got in the shower. And then you got your clients on here and you talking like this. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
Yeah, you may not have no filter, but you need a filter. You need some humbleness, what you need. And that's what, you know, I hate keep going back to Kevin, but Kevin always said that. They need to bring humbleness back because you ladies are out here doing whatever and everybody's supposed to be good with this. No, we're not good with this. This is the worst behavior you could ever show anyone. So I don't know why y'all think this is cool. This would be fun. Oh, girl, you crazy. It's a fucking mess, man. Let's just be real. This is a hot mess. 29, 30, somebody need to go talk to this one. You shouldn't be like this out here right now. You shouldn't be this reckless and uncovered. Just Let's just be real. And any lady who wants to sit here and argue with me about it, let's go. Because I tear your ass up in them comments talking about you thinking this is good. Let it rip. I'll come on here. I'll talk to you. Go ahead. I'm pretty sure I got some guys got my back on this. Guys, y'all chime in too. Since they want to get help, y'all chime in too. She Stink ass. Bye. Okay, so let's do it. This is Jamie, Sagittarius in Illinois, 29. She was at 25 to 40. Cosmetologist. She has no kids. But first, a guy with no kids as well. Um, not sure if she wants kids one day either. Uh, but if it gets serious and you're, she's with you and you have no kids, that could be a potential future. All right, Jamie, give them your Facebook page, girl. My nope. Not on here, you won't. No, sir. You can keep that phone to yourself. No, no, no. Don't phone no more over here. Mm -mm. So what, what did he go get? What groceries did he go get? Girl, I didn't even feel like cooking because I had already had like some little quick stuff, but I'm probably finna I'm finna make like some hot wings and cheese fries and stuff. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay. Well, Jamie, I, I appreciate talking to you, girl. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Bye, baby. All right. Good job. I okay, okay. It's enough of this craziness right here. So uh do better. That's all I can say. Now, uh, my people, I appreciate those that have come in and watched my shows here and there. Like I said, I'm still fairly new out here. So I appreciate you supporting me. Uh, let me know where you guys are from. I've been seeing a lot of different flags popping up from different places overseas. Uh, stateside, I've been seeing a couple of things you guys can tell you from different areas. So just let me know in the comments where you guys are from so I get an idea who I'm like looking at, talking to. Maybe get some shout outs in there. If you put it in there, I'll try to get some shout outs. All right. So, with all that being said, it is your boy. Your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.